shooting guard position. Six foot four inches. Number 12, who races. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Allie, take it away. Well, guys, Miles Turner is one of the game's premier rim protectors. He said, quote, I change games. I'm able to push my team, and they know that when I'm back there, it makes it easier for everybody. I want to show the league what everybody in Indy has known for years, that I'm a defensive anchor, and I take pride in that. Well, he is a presence, Allie, no question. Thank you. And now Indiana's starting group. Halliburton at point next to Dorte. They're the backcourt. Buddy Heald is out there with Neesmith. And it's Turner in at the five, down low. And for Milwaukee, Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Holiday and Allen are at guard form. And it's Middleton in at the three. After making the playoffs five years straight, the Pacers have struggled to get back to the postseason. You know, B.A., they're trying to go through a rebuild right now, and that's going to take some time. But the front office and coaching staff appear comfortable with this direction, knowing it might be a while before they make the playoffs again. And the Pacers start out with the ball. Now Halliburton to the inside. And then Turner with the dunk. Nice find by Halliburton. Just a great feel for the game. And here are the pucks now. Out to the wing. On it, Akumpo. Left side. And they double up on it, Akumpo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Duarte. There's a screen by Turner. Just five on the clock. And it's healed, missing. First quarter of play, a minute in. Ooh, it's stolen away. Here's Neesmith. Anadokounmpo covering. Turner with it. To the middle. Here's Neesmith. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Good find there by Turner. He sees an opening and swiftly feeds the ready shooter. The drive by Anadokounmpo. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. Well, Brent, for this Milwaukee organization, how big was keeping Giannis? Well, B.A., could you just give me another synonym for massive? I'll take all of them. Because obviously, it is all about Giannis. And the title in 2021 helped big time to keep him in Milwaukee. But imagine if they lost him and went back to square one. You just don't replace guys who are this special. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, but for the Pacers, things had gotten stale. So they bring in a new coach in Rick Carlisle, a new potential star in Tyrese Halliburton, a fresh start for this franchise.
That one falls, so he hits both of them. Indiana switching things up recently, going forward in a new direction. You know, B.A., change can be a good thing. Sometimes organizations can get comfortable winning 42, 44 games, losing in the first round, but the Pacers clearly want more. And you know what? I respect that. Here's Duarte. Clock at six. Down it goes, and a great assist by Halliburton. Great decision from Tyrese Halliburton. Understands when he should look to set up his guy. And on Kumpo, here we go. Got it. On Kumpo's got six. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. Think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Dorte's shot is good. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. Yeah, no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Halliburton. Again, the Pacers. Good for two more. Halliburton comfortable from there. Defense has to watch where he gets to on the court because right there he's dangerous. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. I give a ton of credit to the Bucks front office beyond trading for Holiday and, of course, re-signing Giannis. And you love how they filled in with those guys around that star power. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Oh, Brent seems like every year the Bucks have to replace a key rotation player. Yeah, and tricky because they don't have the financial wherewithal to spend a ton of money with the contracts that have been given out. So it's about the right fit, the right personnel, and I think front office and coaching staff do a great job of identifying who those players are. And so Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. The Bucks have gone three of three so far from the floor. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Duarte. Turner and screen on Holiday. Out to heel from behind the arc. The shot won't fall. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Impossible to stop when Giannis gets those strides together. Indiana's gone two of five from deep. Holiday against Halliburton. Down low. It's Dorte on the wing. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Ana de Kumpo with it. Turner covering. Ana de Kumpo. Bam! Ana de Kumpo has got 14. Now sometimes as an analyst, you love to talk about strategies to slow down a guy who's got it going. With Giannis, I don't, I don't really have it. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. So Indiana going with an almost entire new group here. Here's McConnell. Pass to Turner. Here's Nora, covered by Lopez. Nimhart. That one's good. 
on the assist from McConnell. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And it's out of Kumpo off the drive. The rebound by Nimhart. Indiana leading. A minute 35 left in the first quarter here. Here's McConnell. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Bucks have gotten five of seven shots to fall. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here we go. Three on three. Anadokounmpo with it. And it's McConnell picking him up. Open up the floodgates and let Giannis run through. What a joy to watch him in transition. The Pacers have gone 6 of 11 so far. McConnell against Holiday. Pass to Matherin. Great D that time from Middleton. Here's Milwaukee. Anadokounmpo outside. Outside Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, more and more, it's about the maturation process of Giannis and his game. Learning now how to sell defenders with pump fakes. First free throw is good. Brissett's checked in for Indiana. So he gets them both. Indiana trailing here. McConnell outside. Reset the screen. Is Matherin. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. The Pacers again can't hit. Honor Kumpo against McConnell. Honor to Kumpo inside. Can't cash in the 10 footer. Now here's McConnell. Let's it go from deep. Well, some credit to Holiday there on the defensive end. Hand up to contest the shot. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks, Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucs. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. I like it when a lot of guys are committed to attack to the inside because it's going to get you to the line. Can they keep that up? Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him, and it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Pass to heel. Over to the left wing. Here's Nimhart. On to Kumpo covering. Gets the three ball to go. And this game is tied up now. And Brent, we hear talk about teams finding their identity. For those that don't know, can you break down what that really means? Well, one of the key things, B.A., is you come out of a training camp in any given year. You're trying to find the right rotation of players and combinations of players that's going to establish what it is that you're capable of doing. And 30 games into the season, you know, that identity can start to show itself. Great coaches in the league 
will adapt to the things that they're seeing from their rosters to give them the best chance to win. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Here's Matherin. Allen defending. Here's Nimhart. Three-pointer off the mark. Adetokounmpo outside. Sweet little floater. Adetokounmpo has got 24. Well, that was delicate there from Giannis. I like that floater because that becomes unblockable given the massive length. Who poked away. Tecumpo with the stuff. This is when the defense really gets disrupted by Giannis being physical, and then he gets up in the air to rub it in with the jam. And the reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood, it's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. Pass to Neesmith. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot to stop the run. And that'll be Indiana's ball as it goes out of bounds. Pacers able to keep the possession. Pacers substitution. Miles Turner. Chris Duarte. Tyrese Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Dorte's shot is good. Dorte's got nine. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. They will tell you he's one of the best perimeter defenders that you're going to find. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Ingles comes in for Allen. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Halliburton outside. And he lobs it up top! It's hauled in by Portis. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Yep, that one's good. Well, when he was a skinny kid, defenders would always try to get physical with Giannis. That changed pretty quick. Doesn't work so well anymore. Stolen by Ingles. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. He makes the first. So Honor Kumpo nails both of them. The Pacers have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. And there's the screen. Here's Halliburton. 
Got a piece of it. Now get that out of there. That's all timing right there. Drew Holiday continuing hustle play. Oh, and Turner with a block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Turner. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Some changes for Indiana. Norris checked in for Neesmith. And it's McConnell in for heel. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Indiana's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Halliburton's got five points. You talk about Halliburton and his versatility. He can set up the play or he can finish the play off. Here's out of the Kumpo. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here's Duarte. Nine points in the game. Pass to Turner. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, every team wants a guy who can block shots, and they certainly want a guy who can hit threes. Miles Turner does both, Grant. Yes, he does, B.A. Miles has led the league in blocks multiple times. He also shot it well from the three-point range. He's just a unique skill set. It's really hard to find guys like Turner. one falls for him. When you think about Turner, one of the best shot blockers in the league, who can also score at all three levels. And so Turner nails them both. Milwaukee in the lead. Kumpo inside and Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Pass to Duarte. Inside. Here's Turner. Antetokounmpo with the block. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. Hill, he's checked in for Halliburton. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the jam. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. McConnell finds Hill. Here's Nora. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And they double up on it to Kumpo. Pass to Portis. And it's on it to Kumpo off the drive. And the layup is good off the glass. On it to Kumpo has got 40 points. Indiana's gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Here's Duarte. Turner and screen on Middleton to the paint. And then Turner with the dunk. The agility of Turner is huge in these pick and rolls. He's hard to prevent from scoring in these situations. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the half. Back to McConnell. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 16-7 run. Hill with the steal. Pass to Nora. Banked it in off the glass. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Four seconds left. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. And so it's Milwaukee going into the break up 12. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this.
with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Second half underway. Here's who Rick Carlisle's got on the floor. Halliburton at point next to Dorte. They're the backcourt. Neesmith out there with Miles Turner. And it's Heel in at the small forward. And so it's Indiana with it. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Halliburton on the wing. He's covered by Holiday. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bucks. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Anadokounmpo, right side. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Dorte grabs the board. Indiana has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. And there is a whistle. That goes on Joe Ingles. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's Halliburton. Five points in the game. He can't get it to go. The Bucks go the other way with it. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis, and it's Allen in for Ingles. Well, Middleton, a guy who's just so effective out there. He puts up points. He scores with great efficiency. And we've just seen him in so many clutch moments just come through for this team. And it's healed, missing. Milwaukee shooting almost 70% from the floor. Sensational. Two points. That one goes. Antetokounmpo has got 46. And the offense continues to work the ball around to get Giannis in that kind of position for a high percentage shot. And Middleton also capable of preventing points at the other end break. And I think this progression of Middleton having that length and switchability along with experience is helping him build that defensive resume. He'll hit the defensive glass. Just a terrific all-around player. For Milwaukee, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. With the drive. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. Yeah, he might not be the biggest guy out there, but he's willing to rip that rim off. Indiana's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Cortez shot is good. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Anadokounmpo, left side. Shoots over Neesmith. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Left side healed. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got six assists in the game. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. On to Kumpo. Hits yet again. Wow. Oh my goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year Award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. And the Pacers making a change here.
Here's Nimhart. Pass to Matherin. Puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. Six points for him. I kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. And again. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Shooting one. Three minutes into this second half. Here's Nimhart. He's covered by Holiday. Reset the screen. Down low. And blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. Spins. And yes, another basket. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The PA, it feels like he can't miss. Pass to Matherin. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. And the Bucks have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. Honor Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Honor Kumpo is doubled from 10 feet away. The Pacers pull it in. Heel to the ball. We've got 155 left in the third. Here's Matherin. Arna Kupo with the block. And the length of Giannis is a problem. He's a racing shot. Good! That's another bucket. <laughs> this game has his name written all over. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The fearlessness they've shown going strong inside has been impressive. The defense hasn't been very effective against them. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Indiana's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. McConnell against Holiday. Pass to Nora. 127 left in the third quarter here. Six to shoot. Basket counts. For Milwaukee, they've gone seven of ten here in the second half. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And Ante Tecumpo with the stop. That's fun to see the handles coming out there from Ante I mean, how do you stop a near seven footer who's got some dribble skills like that? McConnell against Holiday. To the wing on the left. Connects from downtown. He's got six. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look. Oh, oh nice. Look at the bench. Down. I mean, the bench is going nuts. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Indiana has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Brissett. Here's Matherin. Middleton covering. Shots good by Matherin. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Here's Ana de Kumpo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Giannis that time just making the most of that play. Getting the foul. Still getting the shot off. At the line for Milwaukee. 
Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Some changes for Indiana. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Brissett. Neesmith comes in for Nora. And it's Hill in for Nimhart. And so Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. For Indiana, they've gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Turner, a screen on Middleton. Pass to Neesmith. Out to the right wing. Hill against Allen. Just five to shoot. Indiana needs to get a shot off. No one covering. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. We'll be right back after this word. One quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. The Pacers shooting about 41%. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. And it's Lopez in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Yeah, it's a veteran move. you got to stay down on any pump fake, and George Hill sells it well. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, whether George Hill has started, which he's done a lot in his career, or come off the bench, he's a guy that you like in your rotation as a steadying force. Good on both. And Milwaukee has possession. And here is Hanna DeCumpo going inside. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. No luck on that one. Good D by Middleton. Turner's gone 2 of 5 tonight. Hanna DeCumpo has doubled. The shot that time not on target. So Indiana will take it the other way. Pass to Neesmith. 4-3. Rebound by Middleton. Milwaukee shooting has been on another level. 68% for the game. And the basket by Adetokounmpo. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Halliburton misses. The Bucs have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Soft touch off the glass. And the Bucs lead by 19. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Indiana calls timeout. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. 
Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Hey, these fans love him so much. And when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Yep, count it. Yeah, for guards who are young players in the NBA, finishing around the rim is always a focus at this level. Nice job by Heal there. Pass to Holiday. And they double up on it to Kumpo. To the inside. They left to be fouled. Yes, Kumpo. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Indiana, Aaron Neesmith, one shot. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Here's Nimhart, Allen defending. Halliburton for three. He drops it from range. And Halliburton has that kind of ability. An awkward release, but man, is he consistent with it. Here's Anadokounmpo. And another one. And that's 70. He is unconscious. Here's Nimhart, Allen defending. Pass to Turner. And here's Heald. Shot clock at six. And he dunks it down. Well, Heald's so athletic, and right there you get to see it for your own eyes. The Bucks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. And they double up on it to Kumpo. Middleton finds on it to Kumpo. Another one goes! Incredible! What a game from him! 72 points! And he's been simply sensational throughout this one. Turner against Lopez. Good work defensively by Lopez. The Bucks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. And the jam by Anadin Kupo! Well, him dominating the offensive end is what accounts for this lead. Just a very difficult guy to stop once he gets going. Up top turn from eight feet. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got eight assists here tonight. Smart bucket by Turner. Use your length and score it in close. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. Halliburton against Holiday. Out to heel. This one for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got a rebound number five here tonight. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Now hard to get upset at the defense there. Atentacumbo is no easy matchup down low in the paint. He's perfect from the line this time. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're behind by 19. 146 left to play in the fourth.
146 left in the final quarter. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. For Milwaukee, they've gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Halliburton. Giannis with the rebound. Adenakumpo has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Bucks. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Too much space on the perimeter. There needs to be a little more energy from the defense. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. The first one falls. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. And so Honor Kumpo nails both of them. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Here's Duarte, covered by Lopez. The shot by Duarte, no good. Here's Milwaukee. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Going all the way to the rack. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Oh, he picked him clean. Outside, Hill. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. <laughs> they were just dominant out there. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Giannis, that was a lockdown defensive effort. What sets you guys apart in that regard? We just uh, have that individual pride. Like, we don't want our guy to score on us. And at the end of the day, we know that somebody else going to have our back. So we just got to go out there, try to be active, try to get in passing lanes, try to rebound the ball. And uh, we got uh, a guy like Brooke that is doing a great job and he's helping everybody defensively. That pride showed tonight. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.